Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were exploring Mount... I can't actually remember. Mount Kazai, that's the one. <clears throat> so, we've been exploring, and we have found... some switches to push. I also thought this video was... Well, this uh, dungeon was going to be a one-shot video, but I guess not. Uh, it shouldn't be too much longer, though, because I have it in my head... So this was one of the shorter dungeons, but maybe not. Anyway, let's keep exploring. Ooh, moon robe. What, pray tell, is a moon robe? Uh, I guess it's for Fina. Ooh, we've got six moon berries there. Um, right, equipment. Okay, so we've got the long robe there, which we've literally just bought. Ah. Beautiful robe that glows blue in the night. Resists enemy magic spells. Oh, see? That's actually pretty good. But... Uh, push your magic attack up quite a lot. But it's too negative with everything else. Yeah, I don't know. And, like, just having one person immune to magic sounds cool, but I guess it's not that good. Anywho, let's keep going. See if we can get our asses back. So we found one of the chests, which is nice. But we still need to find the cham and the moonfish. Now I'm not 100% sure actually where the moonfish is. I think we can potentially always come back. Oh god. Well, more glorious combat awaits. Now, what have we got here? Ah, we've got one of those big dudes. You know what? Everybody, have out the big dude. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, he's done. Actually, I want to try using some uh, fire magic. I'm pretty sure it's not going to be that effective here. Because they seem to be using fire magic on us. So I'm guessing it's not that effective. And we didn't even get to use our super move. And they're water elemental beasts anyway. So again, I guess they're probably going to be strong. I wonder if they're weak to ice. Be worth trying some ice magic? Maybe. Let's have a look. Purple, I believe, is ice. Cases, quite powerful. Casting any spells. Yeah, maybe not. Alright. Let's try. Yeah, that's really powerful. Let's try that, just for shits and giggles. See if it's actually any good. Alright, let's have a look. I don't think it's going to be that effective. Well, no. No, it's not. Like, at all. Yeah. Considering they all seem to be using it against us. I'm guessing using blue magic is probably <laughs> also not the best choice but hey I think the idea that you can change your weapons element in this game it's a cool idea but there's just so much to it it's overwhelming 
like having so many uh but then i suppose at the same time you don't really need to do it ah okay now ah there it is yeah what we need is up there okay that's cool now the cham did we get the cham i don't think we did we can't actually go in here yet can we no so we still need to fill some more water but of course after some more Ooh, yes oh glorious combat indeed Let's see if we can kill some of these little goblins oh nice nice holy shit we actually just completely wiped them out happy with that now there is another RPG that I'd really like to do and that's Grandia 2 but the thing is uh, Grandia 2 the clue is in the name is the second game in a series um, and I never played the original the original was a PlayStation 1 game but it was, it was released as a um, HD double pack or something not that long ago so I would really like to do Grandia 2 I have such fond memories of the first game uh, the second game sorry on the uh, Dreamcast Funny enough, the Dreamcast had some of my favourite JRPGs. Or at least two of my favourite JRPGs. And admittedly, I haven't actually played many JRPGs at all. Uh, I kind of fell out with them. Kind of after the 360, I suppose. But then even during the 360's life, I didn't play that many of them. Um... I'm trying to think, what JRPGs did I play on the 360? I played Blue Dragon, which I never completed because I think I started that game about four different times. Let's heal up. And every time I um, got reasonably far into that game, uh, my Xbox 360 actually died. That game cost me, yeah, probably four Xbox 360s. So, uh, and there was no cloud saves or anything like that back then. So if you sent your machine in to be repaired and you lost your save, or you had to buy a new system entirely, then, well, <laughs> that was that. So that was unfortunate. Um, I watched my brother play a hell of a lot of Lost Odyssey. That looked good. Uh, I always wanted to actually play that. I have that. I played Infinite Undiscovery, which I really enjoyed. Um, Final Fantasy, was it 13? Which I just didn't get into at all. Uh, I just, I don't know. I didn't really like that game at all. Um, I'm trying to think what else I played. I've, there was another one in Eternal Sonata. Actually, we played loads of Japanese RPGs on the 360. I thinking about it. Eternal Sonata, Enchanted Arm, which was awesome. That was a damn near launch game, I think. Ha! Huh. Thinking about yeah, okay. I take that back. Thinking about it now, and um, yeah, Eternal Sonata. I remember that. That was really good. Now, what's the rub with this? I think the cham. No. Is the cham down here? Maybe? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Uh, I played the, one of the Tales games as well. I can't remember which Tales game it was. Tales. Uh, it wasn't Symphonia, because that was on the GameCube, and I always wanted to play that one. Let's just plunge. Ooh. I guess we're going down. That surprises me. 
I would have thought maybe there is a jam. No, I don't think there is actually. All right, well, let's drain this water off. Um, oh, and I played a Star Ocean game as well. Star Ocean something hope or oh, yeah god I remember that huh I played a hell of a lot of RPGs on the 360 but then the 360 was one of my favorite consoles of all time I mean you know I, I've, I've got five of them so I guess it would have to be god I can't believe I've got five Xbox 360s Right, let's go down. Admittedly, one, I thought I was buying um, brand new. Uh, the listing lied. <laughs> I mean, it looked like it barely been used. But it wasn't brand new. And it was a European plug, not a UK plug. So, I had to use a um one of my other power packs for it so yeah not so not so good that one that's ebay for you i hate buying shit off ebay because people are scum right what have we got here I suppose it's marginally better than Facebook Marketplace, but I would never buy anything off Facebook Marketplace. That just seems like a recipe for disaster. Okay. And always pay with your credit card. <laughs> because with your credit card, you can claim the money back. That's the tip that I have discovered from buying rare stuff online. Okay, so that just brings us back up here. Interesting. So, has this pool area got bigger or did we just not explore it properly? I don't think we explored it properly. And of course, more. Ooh. Okay, let's go for it. Now, I'm wondering if we use um, quicker. If that actually uh, increases our attack chance and uh, hit chance to hit those enemies. I'm not 100% sure. Might be something we try. Or I might try it off camera, maybe. Okay. Um. Right, well, there definitely didn't look like there was anything weird down there. Yeah, see, these guys use quicker, but it doesn't seem to really do that much. And it's possible there's something there that I'm missing. Because, you know, I'm pretty good at missing things. Yeah. Oh, come on. Vase. Vase is so close to level 38. Right. Now, I think Enrique has now maxed out Silver Magic. Actually, oh, I kind of really want to play. Blue Dragon is one of those games that I have to complete. I have to do it. Because I tried. Oh, Guys, did I try to complete that game. Uh, Blade of Slumber. Right, so... He is on silver, I thought he was. Let's check out magic. No, okay, so he's still got two. Okay, that's fine. Right, okay, well, let's go back. Is there any other... No, that leads back down. All right. I know one thing's for sure. I won't be playing Blue Dragon in my uh, Series X. 
I just don't trust it. That game is cursed. I think I'll dust off my uh, 1x for that game. Right. We don't really... Ah, I wonder, actually. We do have magic. Hits all enemies in a straight line. Oof. Not that great, actually. Yeah, it just hits enemies in a line. Yeah, the spells in this game are a little bit strange. I mean, you only really have fire that does proper offensive damage to a large crowd. All the other attacks seem to just, um, you know, either move in a line or something like that. Or just like a big area effect. Very few magic spells seem to hit everything on the board, which is a shame. Uh, right, so... And then, of course, we can just use Rain of Swords to finish everything off anyway. So, it's not really a big deal. I remember the fighting and the magic system in uh, Grandia 2 was really good. There seemed to be just so many... Um... Oh, nice. Rizlum. There just seemed to be so many uh, spells in that game. It was insanity. Right. Now... Um, I can't remember which way we were going. Was it this way? Or is this the way we've already been? Well, we'll either discover that we're going the wrong way. Yep, we're going the wrong way. But that's fine. We just get some more experience. Oh, wait. Hang on. We're in the pool room. Lel. Uh, right. Let's go for one of you. And hopefully we'll take the other ones out luckily. Yeah, we did. Oh no. That sucks. But at least we got one of them, I suppose. Yeah, okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. We got one. Now, I guess we can go into the deep. Now, I don't know if we can actually go back here. But I guess we'll find out. We can't actually move whilst we descend all the way down. Oh, man. And that is a long way down. Okay. I don't think there's anything down here. There isn't. Okay. So, apparently... Ooh! Oh, look at this. This looks so cool. I always remember the music in Grandia 2 was amazing as well. Very good stuff. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. This emulator really does make the game look fantastic. So, we've got a rope here. Uh, let's go up the rope. See where the rope goes. Oh, that is a horrible sound effect. Jesus. Yeah, not impressed with that at all. Ah, this is how we get... Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, oh, you son of a... I hope we can go back. Oh, we can. I guess very slowly okay that's good to know so we can just like fast track up here which is pretty cool so we, we haven't technically lost anything right let's get our moonfish apparently oh no that's really annoying um you you got to be careful how you touch the analog stick there because it kind of sets you off on a very automated path 
Uh, I don't think we can use our first person mode when we're standing on this block, which is a little bit awkward. So, right. I'm going to put a save state down here. So if I move too far. Cool. Nope. Nice. The moonfish was caught. Excellent. So let me update my notes. Moonfish. Tick. Nice. So. Let's continue. Oh, we've got to go down this very squeaky rope again. Oh, well, actually, we go down a heck of a lot quicker than um, <laughs> climbing up. Happy with that. Now. Oh, I guess we're going that way. We have missed a chest. Well, I don't know if we've missed it, but we, there's still another chest to find. Oh, I love this music so much. Oh. Well, that's not too bad, I suppose. Uh, let's give him a Cutlass Fury. Everyone else pile on. Nice. Yes. These other chumps aren't too much to worry about. Sweet. Ooh, nice. I'll take it. So, we've got some... Ch Ooh. Well, I guess there's the jam. <laughs> that was nice and straightforward. Cham. Tick. So that was all that was there, wasn't it? One cham and one moonfish. Nice and easy. Right. So. We have... Hang on a minute. Let's go all the way back here. Right. Can I turn the camera around? I'm getting disoriented. There we go. There we go. Um, when you get the chance. Okay. So I think we go this way to get the last chest. Just quickly reading my notes. Let's go for the big thing. Probably should have used an actual powerful move on it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, it's not worth using a move on it now. Should have just done Rain of Swords, I suppose. But again, doesn't really matter. Ah, that's bad. Rain of Swords. Everything should die. Or, you know, we could just kill them with standard attacks as well. That also works. Apparently. And we got another Moonberry. That's something that we potentially need to look into, actually. Ah, let's heal up, actually. Potentially need to look at all these Moonberries. 1,000 HP each. Oof. Yeah, I don't really want to use those crystals, but I guess they're all we have. Ah, oh, that's... Yeah, it was correct. So, that's the two chests done. Nice. So, whilst we're there, let's have a little look, see if we can get any more moves, super moves. We actually can. Ooh, it's expensive, though. Ica summons the powers of the Red Moon to destroy all of... Ah, so... She gets another... Uh, Ultimate screen wiping move. I like it. Summons the enemy to the Colosseum. Wait. Enrique summons one enemy to the Colosseum to be judged for its crimes. Ah, I think that is actually like one of the most powerful moves in the game. Vase unleashes the wrath of the air pirates on a single enemy for devastating damage. Right, let's get that one. Pirate's Wrath, which is a fantastic move. And, yeah, Omega Cyclone, cool. So, we're actually, 
we've got a good bit of this game left to go yet. We're probably tipping the scales to over halfway through, but we've already nearly got all the super moves. So yeah, nice. Actually, if we get everybody to just focus, Let's see if we can show off some of these new moves. We should be able to. Let's go for some Pirate's Wrath. I'm not sure why that's not in the same order as that you unlock it, but whatever. That confused me. Ah, that only does it on one enemy, doesn't it? Okay. Now, Ica, your Omega Cyclone, we can use that. Everybody else can attack. A mega cyclone. We might not get to see Pirate's Wrath. Oh man, I remember this. Oh, I remember this. Dude, that's sick. Alright, we might still get to see uh, Baze's move. Maybe. Oh, that was so cool. Man, the nostalgia. The, the nostalgia. Oh, yes. And slapped around the face by a nostalgia. I was going to say nostalgia boner there, but that sounds... Not good. <laughs> 3,300 damage. Yeah, that was terrifying. That was the definition of overkill right there. Nice. I like. There is no such thing as overkill in battle. You either win or you lose. Ooh. Okay. I was like, ooh, what's this? Oh. Ooh, what are these? Allosphere? I have no idea what you are. Let's charge up some attacks. Let's charge. Alright, well they're not that tough. I didn't know they were enemies. I don't remember these things. No. They seem to fall pretty easily. Yeah, th these things ain't got nothing. Ooh. <gasps> oh, I take that back. I take that back. They're casting stone. That's bad. Um, Can you do something about that? Are you... I want you. Uh, Cura, that's the one. Cure vase. Oh, this is so cool. These characters deserve to come back in a new game. They really do. This game really does. This game, yeah, really did deserve to become a franchise. Ah, that doesn't hurt them that much. It's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, he just. Yeah. There's no, like, unstoning effect or anything. But with all these games coming back now in HD, you know, versions, um, and some really bizarre games coming back as well, uh, it would be nice. You know what? I guess we'll just go for Cutlass Fury on his ass. It would be nice to see this one come back. I mean, if you guys have seen the price of this game, on the Dreamcast or on the um, 
the GameCube. It is absolutely absurd. I mean, I've still got my original copy on the uh, Dreamcast. And it's just, it's probably one of the most valuable games in my collection. But the GameCube version is also horrendously expensive now. Uh, do I want to push that? I'm guessing I probably didn't want to push that. Not ah, wait, hang on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What's down here? There can't be anything to collect, because... Uh, we've got everything, according to my notes. Ah, right, well. Let's just have a round of focusing. Although I'm pretty sure... Yeah, oh no, there's no point in doing a round of focusing, is there? Because Ica's move doesn't work very well against these things. Wow, there's so many enemies. So, let's just give them Rain of Swords instead. That does the job. Nicely done, Ica. Or, well, Vase, actually. Ooh, Ica's nearly leveled. Very nice. Very good, very nice. Also, this Elite controller that I've had now, uh, I've got the Elite Series 2 controller. I haven't charged this thing since I've got it, and I've played, what, I don't know, a good chunk of this LP with it, and it's still going. The battery on this thing is insane. I never, uh, I never understand when I play my uh, PlayStation 4 why the battery life on those controllers is so poor. And apparently, from my f what my friends have said, the PlayStation 5 controller isn't any better. If anything, it's potentially slightly worse. I'm like, how can it be worse? Uh... Yeah, let's just save and then do a Reign of Swords. Like, how... If you're gonna make it so you have a non-removable battery in your console, at least, like, you know, make it a good battery, maybe? Just, just thinking outside the box here. Nintendo's been putting amazing batteries in their controllers for a long time. Nice. Yeah, always, always thought that was completely ridiculous. Like, uh, I always assumed that they were going to improve the uh, PS4 controller, DualShock 4. I always thought, oh, they'll bring, you know, a version 2 out with an extended battery, blah, blah, blah. They never did. Never did. That's probably the biggest bugbear I have with the PlayStation 4. The battery is absolute wank. And it's not that my controllers are old and, you know, the battery's degraded. Because, you know, when I got my first PS4 on day one, it was shit out of the box. I love the console. The console's great, but yeah. Battery life, man. It's pretty important. No point in having a wireless controller if you've got to, you know, constantly have a USB cable connected. I mean, the Pro Controller for the Switch. Dude, <laughs> I've had a Switch for like two years. Uh, well, actually, I've had a full-size one for about a year, maybe. And... Uh, I, I can't remember really charging it more than a couple of times. That battery on that thing is insane. Although, if we are moaning about battery life, we could always go to the Wii U uh, tablet 
controller. Yeah, the Wii U tablet controller. That thing literally needs to be wired into life support. All uh, throughout the entire play session. Awful controller. Terrible controller. The room on the other side of the store is probably filled with the water we poured in before. Okay, so I guess we're not going to go in through there. I'm guessing... No, I did not want to go up there. Uh, at least we're not going that far. I'm guessing... If we go down here... And go through here... We're going to be at a boss fight or something. Now, unfortunately, we're well, 35 minutes here, so we're going to have to save that for the next video. So, thank you very much for watching, guys, and as always, till next time.